Here we go, Omega-3 Benefits, and there's a lot of them. <laughs> Hi, I'm Angie. Hey, I'm Eddie. Thanks for joining us at Life Squared. Welcome to Life Squared, brought to you by the Perfectly Imperfect Network, from imperfect folk everywhere. Omega-3 benefits are many. Now, where do you find omega-3? For example, salmon, nuts, um, walnuts are a really great source, flaxseed. Um, there are many choices. Right. But we're going to go straight into this today because there's a lot we don't want to run over our time limit. So, yeah. number one, the Life Squared Diet favorite. It's an anti-inflammatory. It's what we're after. Come that's off. Yeah, that's it. And because it's an anti-inflammatory, that brings us to number two. It fights off autoimmune diseases. Autoimmune diseases are inflammatory diseases. Yes. That would be like celiac disease, hypothyroidism, Hashimoto's, rheumatoid arthritis, and diabetes. The list goes on and on. Number three, it helps reduce the symptoms of ADHD. There's a lot of ADD and ADHD that's um, in adults and children. We have long treated it and been, um, you know, cognitive of the fact that children have it, but now there is more adult ADD yes, attention deficit disorder than ever before. Yeah with and without the hyper hyperactive disorder. Um, Dr. Amen is um, a firm believer that omega-3 helps ADHD and healing of the brain. Yes, it does. Number four, it helps fight depression and anxiety. We are at an all-time high right now on anxiety and depression because of the events of the last two years, and we're not living our best lives. No because of this virus. So, um, you know, if you can get help from foods, why not? Why wouldn't you? Number five, fetal brain health. So if you're pregnant, omega-3s are a great thing to eat right. for the brain health of your unborn child. Number six, it's heart healthy. Heart. And my personal doctor talks about that all the time about how great it is to especially eat salmon right. and other omega-3 rich foods. Now, I will tell you, we also take a supplement. Yes, we do. Um, and you can get it with or without DHA. Some, some doctors love it with DHA. Others don't, you know, see what your doctor prefers. Right. Okay. Number seven, improves mental disorders, particularly bipolar and schizophrenia. So if you have that or you have someone in your household that has that, try to get them to get more omega-3 or, or take some. So number eight, it fights age-related mental decline like memory loss. Right. Again, that just goes to the healing of the brain. Omega-3 right. passes through that blood-brain barrier, that brain-blood barrier. And That's hard to say. It is kind of hard to say. And um, helps heal your brain. And we now know that your brain can be healed. Right. Number nine, it helps prevent cancer. The C word again. Yeah, the C word. Number 10, it reduces liver fat. And you've heard a lot recently about fatty liver. Some of it's caused from alcoholism. Some of it's caused from sugar. Some of it might be hereditary. Right. So whatever you can do not to have a fatty liver, because that can definitely shorten your life. You don't want it. No. Number 11, it helps your bones and your joints. Again, it's a, it's a good oil, it, it's a good fat, and that helps lubricate your joint, bone, bones and joints. That's good for you. Number 12, it improves sleep. I mean, if you're getting healthy, your sleep's going to be better. Exactly. And this really does help improve your health. 
Number 13, it's great, great, great for your skin and your skin healing. I'm getting ready to have a surgery. I am going to be like eating a lot of omega-3s and lot, taking my omega-3s after I get out of surgery. You don't want to take them before surgery because they do make your blood a little thinner. So number 14, it reduces asthma symptoms. Yeah. People have a lot of allergies these days, a lot more than they used to. And we have a lot more adult allergies. Yes, we do. I, back when I was a kid, rarely did adults have that many allergies. Yeah, you're right. They do now. Why? Uh, I don't know. We, we could, don't know. That could be a whole nother episode. Yeah. So, you know, find an, a way to get omega-3s, whether it's in the food you eat or through supplements or both. Right. Because... It's just an amazing, amazing way to start the road to becoming healthy. You can't have too much. Yeah. And thanks for joining us here in the Perfectly Imperfect Kitchen at Life Square. See you soon. Bye now. We really appreciate you joining us today at Life Squared on the Perfectly Imperfect Network. To get more content, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Thanks for watching.